Hello everyone, this is Hatif Khalidi from Turbulent Flux and this is the second tutorial of Flux Supply. Uh, if you remember, not very long ago I demoed, uh, I demonstrated uh, the Flux Supply and I showed you how we can really make a very simple case in Flux Supply and run a simulation and look at the results. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to expand uh, that a little bit further and uh, for that reason, I'm going to show you uh, how we can run a simulation that is uh, exposed to the train slugging, the severe slugging and uh, on what conditions we can mitigate this uh, severe slugging. Uh, let's get uh, very quickly to the base case that I've already made uh, I mean this is the geometry that you can see there is a pipeline uh, under the sea it is almost uh, 1000 meter 1 kilometer and then there is a riser of 100 meter long as you can see with this sort of S shape that you can see here uh, if I go very quickly to the base case the simulation I'm going to run it for 10,000 uh, seconds uh, the trajectory is using XYZ uh, predefined uh, uh, discretization, but uh, on top of that, I'm going to use uh, some sort of interpolation with the number of pipes uh, specified to 400 because I'm going to capture this log and I would like to have shorter sections. Um, the material definitions, uh, pipe definitions, for example, you can see that I have a pipe of 0.23 meter in inner diameter and a riser of 0.28 meter. And also the ambient condition that you can see I have defined uh, under the sea and also uh, above the sea in the air, I have defined some conditions. The boundary condition is important. I have defined a pressure boundary at the top of the riser. Uh, with the pressure of uh, 50.5 bar and I also have a source at the beginning of my pipeline uh, with the re phase rate in the standard condition the gas of 2.8 the oil of 0 0.012 and the water of 0 0.012 a standard cubic meter per second there is no reservoir uh, there is a valve at the top of the riser. I have positioned it uh, almost toward the end of the riser. I have a valve opening set to one and also the valve model is hydro valve with a specified area and the CT curve that you can see here. Uh, so I have run this simulation uh, and let's just look at, for example, the volume flow STC of the oil, the trend plot. Uh, toward the end of the pipeline or toward the end of the riser so if I scroll this all the way to the right to see the flow at the top of the riser you can clearly see that uh, it is oscillating heavily at the top of the riser it is going all the way to the zero value of a standard uh, cubic meter of oil and then it's going up and then down and up and down it's, this shows a real severe slug phenomena uh, i mean the mechanism uh, of course we can talk about the mechanism of this train or severe slugging uh, by just uh, plotting for example the pressure and the volume fraction of the liquid if i plot the profile plot let's uh, look at the mechanism of uh, this phenomena uh, Here it comes. Uh, so if I scroll it to the right with time, you can see that uh, at the bottom of the riser, you can call it the base of the riser. You can see that when I scroll it to the right, uh, actually, you can see that uh, when the liquid is accumulated first, uh, you can clearly see that when the liquid accumulates first at the bottom of the riser, then the pressure builds up into the in the in the system in the riser and also in the base of the riser and as soon as the pressure which is the blue line reaches to the maximum level then it starts to push the liquid out of the system you can see that the liquid fraction is going down so as soon as the pressure is reaching the highest value it starts to push out the liquid and the slug comes and then again when the pressure goes down and all the liquid is flushed out 
then again the liquid accumulates at the base of the riser and the pressure builds up and the scenario repeats itself so it is really cool and interesting to see that it builds the pressure the pressure depletes the liquid flushes out of the system and again this repeats and repeats by time so this is the uh, this is the scenario we are seeing but of course there are methods there are strategies there are things that you can do to mitigate this slug flow and uh, by that i have defined some scenarios uh, scenario making in flux applied is simple you just go to this uh, R2 revision and then you can click on the scenario and make your scenarios that I have already done for example I have made a scenario called valve closure and in this scenario I have uh, uh, changed the choke opening in one hour you can see that from 0 to 3600 seconds the valve opening is 1 and then in 20 seconds I am closing it to 10% Remember this number, I'm coming back to this later in the other scenarios. Uh, I have tested different openings, but uh, really in order to get rid of this uh, slug, uh, this severe slugging, I really needed to go down all the way to 10%. So I have run also this simulation and uh, we just want to look at the results. I click on the simulation and I just show you the volume flows TC of oil again. So if I scroll it all the way to the right, you can see that after one hour, okay, in the beginning, it's a train slugging, it's a severe slugging, but as soon as the valve is close to 10%, as soon as the pressure uh, increased uh, upstream of the valve by closing the valve to 10%, you can see that the, 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 the train slugging is gone and it's uh, quite stable toward the end. Um, I have run another scenario that I have also injected a gas at the base of the riser. So in this case, I have uh, introduced a gas lift at the bottom of the riser. You can see here, uh, first it is zero. It's uh, volume, uh, it is the standard uh, volume flow zero, or you can call it the mass flow of zero. But after one hour, I have introduced 10 kilogram uh, per second of gas lift uh, to the system at the bottom of the riser so let's look at the results and see how the gas lift really helps in this case if i plot the volume flow is tc of oil again uh, and if i go all the way to the right yes you can see that uh, in the first hour i have a very severe slug but toward the end, when I have injected the gas, when I have introduced the gas at the bottom of the riser, uh, the slug is kind of mitigated, but still it's there. So the introduction of the gas lift has not helped uh, as much as the valve closure. And this is a known uh, issue. I mean, if you are not in the friction dominated region, um, the introduction of the gas increases the GOR and uh, actually it increases the, 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 the gas oil ratio and sometimes uh, it can even worsen the, the, the situation. This is a known issue in the oil industry and the engineers know that. Uh, for that reason, uh, I have come up with another solution and I have mixed up the valve and the gas lift. So in this time, I have both the gas lift after one hour at 10 kilogram per second and also i have also introduced uh, the valve closure but this time instead of 10 percent i have just closed it 50 percent you know that uh, if you close the valve to 10 percent uh, it is not an ideal situation you will lose a lot of production from your system so you don't really want to choke back your uh, production but let, let's look at the results and see this time the the, the combination of uh, uh, choke closure and also the, the the gas injection how does that help if i click on the simulation that i've already run and if i plot the volume flows tc of oil again and if i scroll it down to the right now you can see that even at 50 percent with the injection of gas lift of 10 after one hour the the slug is totally gone so the combination of the gas lift 
and the valve closure can really mitigate uh, uh, this, the train slugging, the severe slugging, um, I mean, at very higher uh, opening percentage. There is another solution, there is another strategy to mitigate the slug and that is by increasing your flow line pressure or your, you can call it your separator pressure or your manifold pressure or whatever you call it. I mean, I have done that and uh, for that reason I have, uh, in the pressure boundary, I have increased the pressure boundary from 50.5 bar to 60.5 bar. So I have increased it like 10 bar after one hour and if you look at the simulation result again and if i plot the volume flow stc of oil if i scroll it all the way to the right again you can clearly see that the slug uh, the severe slugging is completely mitigated and toward the end you have a kind of a stable oil production at the top of the riser so uh, i mean this was the second tutorial i tried to show you more of the flux supply trying to show you how the scenario works and uh, i wanted to show you how capable really this software this transient simulator is to understand the problem to solve your issues uh, for example in this case the slug uh, uh, phenomenon and the slug issue and i hope you have enjoyed it until next time